Hi, I'm Glenn Blue, and I wanted to talk to those people taking the workshop. Instead of putting an email out, I thought I would just do a quick video uh, giving you an explanation as to what we're going to do, what to expect. Um, as I said in my description and what I've always done, is I don't do a workshop where we have completed painting from beginning to end. I like to do a workshop where we have fun and we'll work on uh, different ideas that you would use in landscape, whether it's the sky, water, trees, uh, various aspects of landscape that we'll practice and put into a painting. However, I do want to work through some ideas with the landscape. And as I mentioned before, uh, this one snow scene that I'd like to go through. And I'd like to actually see people sketch out two rough streams, because we're gonna do the same scene uh, but two different ways. And so if you get a piece of paper, it can be whatever size you want, um, quarter to eighth sheet. So this is, I don't know, this is roughly a quarter sheet, but this is a, a demo snow scene that I, I did and I worked on a little bit later. But the point I want to make is if you don't draw a, a, a you know, fine painting or a drawing that's very detailed, this real simple, uh, a stream that kind of zigzags through the scene, whether it comes in, goes out, and comes back through, or just like this. Uh, what I want to stay away from is these S curves. So something like this, and this was another painting that I had worked on in a class where you can see where it comes in from this angle, zigzags through. So we have angles, not big S curves. So what I don't want to see people do, and, and this happens a lot, uh, people will do a, a creek and they'll, instead of zigzagging it through the scene uh, with these embankments, they'll have this meandering, uh, fun slide looking thing. And that's really difficult to work with. And it's the wrong angle. It's, it's like an aerial scene almost. So due to very rough, I don't have to be detailed at all. Um, I don't even know if I have anything on the back of these, but it would just pretty much be a creek with a few trees roughed in because we're gonna do washes and throw paint and run it over there, so we're not gonna stay within the pencil lines. So that's something to expect. When I did a, a class I did, I started this, but this is kind of what I don't wanna see, where you have this, which almost looks like a road coming through. This is a little bit difficult to get the perspective right. Uh, so try to stay away from something that looks like this and, and more of the angles. Another fun little demo that I wanna to get to at some point during the class is we're going to talk about background, foreground, uh, you know, mid-ground with a landscape. And so very cliche typical um, one of the demos I'd like to do is with like a Venice scene. I just And do not draw out a real detailed Venice scene as well. Don't worry about the boats and the people in the buildings. I just wanted, and I did this just kind of quickly, just the building tops, a little suggestion of where the water would be, maybe some boats. We're not going to paint this. Um, we're just going to rough in part of it. I think I did it maybe twice. I did two different ways of doing it. But when I have a class, I use this as a foundation to this can be buildings, trees, it can be anything, but it's just the way to build up a background. So if you have a chance, a small piece of paper, you can draw that. We'll get to it at some point. And then on the last day, after we're going to play around with doing rocks and maybe figures. We're gonna do sky, water, trees. We're gonna throw paint, do a little of everything. So have scrap paper and it can be whatever size you want it to be. Um, I prefer arches paper just for the effect you get, um, particularly on the two snow scenes we're working on. Uh, the other stuff, it doesn't matter so much. But on the last day, I did this for a demo. I did like a eight to 10 minute total snow scene, all done pretty much at once using some of the techniques that we're gonna talk about. And these were just demos I did for students' classes. So this was just a quick snow scene. You can see the zigzag. I think this took uh, eight minutes. Uh, another one, one of the early ones I did a small one, that was about a eight or nine, 10 minute one. I don't think any of these real fast. I think that was seven minutes. Uh, again, a real fast one. So these are pretty much like the same kind of scene. Various zigzagging streams, that's not it. Um, did them in the 10 minutes or less. And we're gonna do that at the end on like a quarter, eighth sheet. If you go too small, it's hard to control the paint. So I'd go a little bit bigger, at least a quarter sheet maybe. Um, and I'll show you a few other things uh, to think of. 
and then we'll see you next week.